Okay, so I'm back and I'm going to show you how you guys are going to approach this to make your little animation for the site. It's going to take some practice to get good at it, but uh, here goes, here, here it goes, alright. So anyway, I've got three layers here, okay, and guess what? You guys are not going to need the text layer, okay, so I'm going to delete that layer, okay, and you're not going to need this green outline box, alright, you're just not going to need that. So I'm going to delete this layer, okay. So there goes that second layer. So now all we have left is this background layer. And you can see once again that when I turn this on and off, it goes from white to this um, white to gray linear gradient that goes from the top to the bottom. So you're going to keep this. And I'm going to give you this file and post it on the website so that you can download this file. Now this file that we're talking about right here is the um, flash file. I'm going to save this file right now. File, save as and I'm going to call it flash banner underscore start okay and I'm going to save it in this folder now I want to show you this folder this folder you'll see now it says flash banner underscore start but something's going on with this folder I can't see my file extension and I really hate this about uh, Windows so I'm going to fix that so I can see my file extension every file in Windows has neither um, two or three or sometimes even four letter file extension at the end of the name, right? So it's a JPEG, it'd be a dot JPEG, right? So, but by default, Windows doesn't let you see the file extension because if you change the file extension in Windows, Windows doesn't know what kind of file you have and it actually breaks the file. So they figure, hey, let's not let people see that because they might break it but um, we're not going to worry about that so what we're going to do is I'm going to go to tools folder options and then I'm going to go to view and I'm going to turn off hide extensions for known file types I'm going to turn that off this one right here hide extensions for known file types make sure that's off and then click OK and now I can see my file extensions so I can see that this flash file and this flash file are .fla files these are the flash authoring files this is the file, when I save this file, it's this thing right here. If I open it up, I'm going to get this, the authoring environment for Flash, and I can work on my Flash file. So that's this one and this one. Over here, I've got a JPEG, right? This is a JPEG. Notice it says .jpg. That's an image file. And then over here, this is a Flash movie. It's the Flash movie that goes onto a web page, or that gets shown in a web browser. This is the file that Internet Explorer can show and you can see the movie on the internet or on the web through a web browser, web client like Internet Explorer or Safari or Firefox or whatever you use. So anyway, this one's now called Flash Banner Start. I'm in here, right? This is Flash Banner Start. We just did. And all I did was is I got rid of the text and I got rid of the green outline. So let's, let's make a movie out of it. I'm going to go to Control Test Movie or on your keyboard you can hit Control Enter and it publishes the Flash movie and there's nothing in this Flash movie just this background now if I go to my folder you'll see there's Flash Banner Start and there's the Flash Banner Start movie that I just published right okay I can actually double click on this and open it up and it's just um, it's just a movie it's just this little Flash movie file right you can stretch it out but this is the file that goes onto a web page essentially right so you're going to work with this, and you're going to make your animation um, using this file to start with, okay? And I'll show you basically what you're going to do. First of all, you're not going to work on the background layer, because that's where our gradient is, so I've got it locked. So we're getting a new layer. So you'll click this new layer button, and you'll make a new layer. And I'm going to call this layer animation. So this will be the animation layer, where you can make something happen. and. Um, in other words, you can have a get the uh, get the paintbrush tool, and I'm going to change the color. I'm going to click this guy right here um, and expand this tools. Ooh, I don't like the way that looks. All right, I won't expand it. That's fine. Um, but it's kind of a pain here. Let's see here. Maybe I can make it bigger. There we go. There we go. Oh, that's nice. I like that. So now I stretched this out by putting here now I can see more of the tools here this is the stroke color 
this is the fill color. If I use the paintbrush, I need to change the fill color is black, so the color will be black. So on this new layer, the animation layer, notice the pencil icon is on that layer. I could draw a stick figure. Right? Right? And I could animate the stick figure and it would show up in the movie. Well, I'm going to do that essentially frame by frame. So uh, right now I just have this one frame in the movie, so if I hit Control enter there's my movie, just this guy on top of this background. So right now, what I need to do is I need to add some more stuff to it. So what I can do is go to this next frame right here and right click on it, insert keyframe, and I can then move my character with this black selection arrow. Let's say I can move him, right? And then I can put another one, right click on the next frame, insert keyframe, and move him again. And I could go to this next frame, I could just highlight it, and I could press F6 on my keyboard, and that puts a keyframe, and I could move him, right, and then next one, F6, and I could move him up, right, like he jumped, and then next frame, F6, and then move him down, right, like he landed, and then next frame, F6, and move him over one, right, okay. Now I hit Control Enter to play my movie, and there it is. It's a looping movie. Notice the background is um, flashing. That's because our background is only on frame one, not on all six or seven frames of our movie. So I'm going to go to the last frame here, and instead of inserting a keyframe, I'll just insert a regular frame, and that'll put regular frames all the way across. So now the background will stay the same across seven frames, and the character will uh, move across. And the nature of flash movies are they loop. So when the movie plays, it's going to go to here and then go back to one and then go to here. So I hit Control Enter and there's my flash movie now. Okay, that's my flash swift. All right, that's my progress so far. It's not that great, but I'll put it up on the web anyway. I'm going to hit File, Save to save my flash file, right? And I made already made the movie, so there's my flash start file if I want to go back and keep working on it. Here's my flash movie file to put on the web. And uh, so that's what I'd like you guys to do. I'd like you guys to do a simple animation that you could uh, uh, create um, frame by frame. You know, you could, uh, you could build a character. You know, you could take uh, this paintbrush and, you know, on keyframe by keyframe, you could hit F6 and, you know, draw the arm and then hit... F6 and you know put another arm and then make another keyframe F6 and draw the body right and then hit another keyframe F6 and draw half of the head and then F6 and another half and then F6 and another half and then F6 and a leg F6 on your keyboard leg F6 F6 and then hit control enter and you can see it happening. Now, if everything is going a little too fast, you could slow your movie down too. Modify, document, and it's taking a second, but when it pops open, I might change my frame rate from 24 frames a second, maybe down to like 15. You don't want to go below 12, so I'd probably just change it to 15. All right, anyway, this is taking way too long to open up that window. Um, so um, when it opens up, when the um, Modify Document Property window opens up, I'm going to change it from 24 to 15, but right now I'm just going to close the movie out and come back at a later time. I think you guys might be able to get started with this. Um, look for the start file on my website, dancecourses.com, and uh, it'll be in uh, the Flash web design area. All right, talk to you later.